Okay, uh, we are going to talk about logarithms today, and in this tutorial we'll talk about multiplication and the division of logarithms. And we are going to start with multiplication. I have already prepared two examples here, and the, uh, when we multiply, this is a, a logarithm, it's a positive, it is, it is characteristic is positive and the mantissa is also positive. This is what we call a mantissa and this is our characteristic, they are all positive. So when we multiply, when we multiply, we just multiply normally uh, this way, 3 times uh, 6 is 18, carry 1, 6, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 9 and 6 again, then 6, we have the answer there. But now suppose we have the, if we have, we have when characteristic is negative here, you see here characteristic is negative, so this characteristic is negative, but mantissa is always positive, the way uh, we, we know that mantissa is always positive, but characteristic can be negative, so in this case here characteristic is negative, when mantissa uh, is positive, so when we multiply, we multiply normally, so this is 4, 28, 28 plus 2 is 30, 16 plus 3 is 19, you carry 1 here. And then 4 times 3 by 3 is by 12. I wrote it on top here. It is by 12, then uh, we plus 1, which we carried. So by 12 plus 1, we get by 11. This is not pi, right? So we get 11 here. So we write 11 down here, and it is by, which means the bar representing negative. So this is how we can carry. Uh, multiplication is simple just like that now let us move to division okay division of logarithms so uh, we are going to discuss the two cases of division the first case is when the given logarithm is all positive for example 1.8 and 934 then divide by by 2. All characteristic is positive and mantis is also positive. So the answer here is easy to obtain. 1 divided by 2 is impossible, you write 0, and then combine this to get 18. When you divide by 2, get 9. Uh, divide by 2 here, you get 4, remain 1. So 13 divided by 2 is 6 and 14 divided by 2 is 7. So this is the answer we get. Now suppose that this one here was uh, negative, which means it is a bar. Let us look at that. So if we have bar here, uh, for example, this is bar 1 dot uh, 8934, then we divide by the same 2. We divide by the same 2. All right. So when it is like this, we have to introduce a technique uh, whereby we are going to deal with this characteristic. Because mind you, mantissa is always positive. This mantissa here, this part here is, is positive. While this part here now is negative. So uh, you look at the characteristic, all right? Now, this is bar 1, which is, I mean, which is equivalent to negative 1. Go down one step. When you go down one step, you are going to, uh, to, to divide it by 2 because it is going to be bar 2. So, it is like, it is like adding another bar here, adding, adding another bar 1 here. Okay. So, the denominator will determine how many steps you have to go down so that we can we can it can divide exactly all right so because this is two we need to just go one down one one step down because it is two if it was three we could have gone two steps down to make it bar three but because it is two here and here it is bar one we just go down one step so going down one step we are going to have bar two here okay so bar two to have bar one you have to add one all right, so by 2 plus 1, it will give you by 1, and now you can just write it directly, 8, 9, 3, 
four, then the whole thing divide by two. The whole thing divided by two. So you're going to have your answer here as bar one. Bar two divided by two is bar one. Then plus, when you divide here, it's the same way we did here. So we are going to have zero dot nine four six seven. And the, when you add the two, you have bar one. So we have bar one dot nine four six seven. So this is this is a very important technique. I said you just look at your denominator and decide how many steps you are going to go down. All right. So this is how we can divide, and I uh, hope you have understood. Thank you for watching.